Hey guys, Zuzu Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do Swatch Fest. What is Swatch Fest, you ask? Well, it's just like it sounds. We're going to be swatching. We're going to have a festival of swatching. So anyway, I got this idea from Kaya Journey. So she has a... Um, video couple videos on her channel where she just swatches and shows you what some of the makeup she has looks like on her skin so it's wonderful if you happen to be her complexion or close to her complexion range and you just want to see what might that look like on me so i figured i want to do this too so shout out to kaya journey um love your channel girl anyway so i'm going to link her video her last swatching video below so you can get to her video and watch it subscribe to her like her all of that lovely stuff and um we're gonna be swatching a lot of things we're gonna swatch some foundations some concealers some eyeshadows some lipsticks some lip glosses and i think that's it and so i have a lot of things that I can swatch like I'm telling you you would be amazed at the amount of products I have that I can swatch for you guys so if you like this kind of video let me know drop it in the comments give me a big thumbs up and I will do another and another and another not all the time obviously but um every now and then I'll just like gather a bunch of things and we'll swatch it so I'm not going to do a review or anything I just want to show you just want to show you so you can see what it looks like so we can have fun in makeup because who doesn't like to play in makeup and obviously everything that I'm using will be clean and green and non-toxic. Most of the products that I will be swatching will be vegan. If it is not vegan, it may have uh, beeswax or honey and sometimes some carmine. Yeah, I have a couple of lip glosses that have carmine. I am phasing out of the carmine stage, but I am using them until they are gone. Uh, but I'll let you know when I'm swatching, just so you know, uh, because if you're vegan, I don't want you to be like, oh, everything she's doing Okay, vegan. so first we're no. gonna swatch my favorite, Plain Jane Beauty. This is the Cream Minerals Foundation. So I have three colors. I have eight, nine, and 10. Eight is I am creative. Nine is my summer color, which is I am stunning. And 10 is I am loving. In the winter and fall, when I'm a much lighter, I use a combination of eight and 10. And even in the summer, when I'm like, I am stunning, I'll do a little eight. I am creative, like underneath my eyes and like on the bridge of my nose, kind of like a highlight a little bit, but not like extreme highlight, but I'll do that. So let's swatch this baby. So this is number eight. And I'll just put a little right there so you can see it. Okay. Throw that in. All right. That's number eight. Okay. So number eight is um, much lighter than me. <laughs> uh, but, and it's kind of, uh, kind of yellowy on the end so that's number eight and obviously if we kind of rubbed it in it wouldn't be as thick that's it right there it's a light kind of brown complexion color kind of tannish and um yeah that's number eight let's swatch number nine number nine number nine let's swatch number nine so this is number nine. Woo, love number nine. That's number nine. And that is my color. Um, of course, it's just like a saturated streak. So you're like, that's your color? That's my color. And if I was to like buff it away, you would see that it would like blend away. See how it's like blending away there. So that's number nine. This has a red undertone, and uh, which I have. And... It is a really nice color. That's number nine. Now let's do number 10. Number 10, winter color. And sometimes some spots on my face that aren't haven't had as much sun that are not as red because I get redder as I get darker. This is the color that I would wear. So that's number 10. And um they're not really in order, like 8, 9, 10. I find that 9 is a lot richer 
than 10 as you can see but it has a lot more of a neutral undertone I think that has more like of a yellow kind of vanilla -y, beige -y, and that's more of a neutral and that's more of a red so that's number 10 which is I am loving so we got I am creative I am stunning I am loving 8 9 10 happening right there boom 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 cool so those are the Plain Jane Beauty swatches. I also have two samples from Elite Cosmetics. I did swatch them in my Elite Cosmetic haul video. Check that out if you're interested. But I'm going to swatch them next to these just so you can see everything lined up. Now these are going to be slightly darker than what I just showed you. And um, these are not my color, but I do want to show you just in case you're darker than me because I feel like they did a good job on the coloration. So Coloration, is that even a word? We're going to say it is. Yeah, okay. So this is Sienna. That's Sienna. It's a nice size sample too, by the way. You can really get a feel for whether or not you're going to like it. And so just do a little bit. Sienna, we're going to put that next to 10. So this is Sienna, quite a bit richer, quite a bit darker, and very red. So if you are red, that's Sienna right there. If you're red, let's rub that in a bit. If you are chocolate and red, then that would be the color for you. So that's, that's Sienna. And as you can see, it's quite a bit richer than my number nine, I am stunning. That's it. I put this all over my face and kind of sheared it out with a little bit of lotion thinking, oh, I wonder if this would work. It's still just a bit too rich. Even when I used it as like a BB cream, it, it just didn't work. And there, I think, I believe the color that's right before this is really, really on the light end of the spectrum. So they kind of cover the light end of the spectrum and then they go ahead with the dark end of the spectrum, which is a nice start. You know, you can fill in later, but um, yeah, so that's that color right there. That's Sienna right there. Now we're going to swatch the darkest color they have, which is chestnut. Chestnut is really, really dark for my ebony beauties. That's chestnut. And let me just make sure I get that off my finger. We're going to swatch this puppy. And we're going to do it right next to, oh, we don't really have any room left. We're going to, yeah, let's see. I don't know why I seem to run out of room when I'm swatching. Like, how come everybody else seems to swatch all over the place? They have like 15 different shades on their hand and me, not so much. So that is chestnut chestnut is a really really super chocolate ebony kind of like a chocolate bar it's like a chocolate bar so that's chestnut and let me just kind of um rub that out rub that out for you boom that's chestnut right there so these are wow Let's look at that. That's a nice range though, isn't it? So we've got the number eight from Plain Jane Beauty, which is I am creative. We've got the number nine, which is I am stunning. We've got the number 10, which is I am loving. We've got Sienna from Elite Cosmetics and we've got Chestnut from Elite Cosmetics. So those are all foundation swatches. You may want to try samples based on that if any of those look like your color or um yeah so you can get your swatch fest on boom so those are the foundations i love it it's like united colors of benetton up in this piece it's pretty okay okay i've cleaned off my hand and we're ready for more swatches the next swatches are going to be concealers so these two concealers are both by hint beauty I use the Duet Perfecting Concealer in dark and I love it. I feel like it's perfect for my complexion, but they do have, I think they have five shades. And so they have like a light, like a light, fair, tan, dark, and deep. And then I, so I just have dark and I have tan for you guys. So now tan is way light. I wish I had deep to show you. I feel like I had it at one point, but I don't know where it is. Uh, so we'll start with dark which is my color and um, works perfectly I love the consistency of this but we're not doing reviews I said I wasn't doing a review okay so now that is a swatch of dark 
and you're probably like "Ooh, that's a little light but it's a concealer so obviously I'm not going to put that much but let me kind of blend it out just a little so you can see it how it might look underneath the eye like I'm like vigorously blending here so I still look mad light but I'm telling you it looks good under the eye on me it does like I'm wearing it right now so that's that's it it's dark okay so I like that a lot I use this when I use concealer which is not all the time but sometimes my dark circles are out of control and I'm like I gotta conceal those puppies right color correct and conceal those puppies I should have showed you guys the color correctors next time we'll do color correctors next time so now this is the hint beauty uh, in tan just have a sample of that and it's much lighter and so if you were lighter than me but probably still in the brown shades this would be what you would go to and let's just see oh I just love that consistency I do I think it's a really awesome consistency so we'll just put that right next to it Ooh, I put a lot okay so that's tan that's way light that's way way light but maybe you could use this to kind of highlight and then put your highlighter over um, I haven't really used this I just have the sample and when I got the sample and tried it I was like oh no <laughs> so uh, let's see let's see if we shear it out a bit shear it out rub it in because obviously you wouldn't have your concealer like mad thick underneath your eyes unless you like cake face makeup and you might and you know if you do you do whatever it's all good so that's that it's a low light for me but it might work for you so that's tan and um that's the duet perfecting concealer from Hint. So we've got two. We've got dark and tan. And they have two colors that are on the lighter spectrum. And they have one color that's on the darker. So these are like right in the middle. And uh, that's how they look. So if you are close to my complexion, you might want to try that one. If you are lighter than me, then you might want to try that one or any of the others. They are, they come in samples and they give you a, enough to try for a while because you don't use a lot of concealer. So that's how much you get. That could really give you a, you can see if you like it for sure. So those are the concealers. So all of the foundations and concealers are vegan. I like totally did not mention that at all after I made a big deal of it in the beginning. So those are all vegan. Obviously they're clean, green, non-toxic and they are vegan. The Plain Jane Beauty Foundations are organic. Awesome. Who doesn't love that? And so now let's move on to lipstick because I love swatching lipstick. I really do. So, um, let's start with what I'm wearing because this is pretty I love this you guys are going to be a little upset with me for even mentioning it because you can't get it sorry but I love it and I wanted to show you guys and you may be able to get it soon so one of my favorite green beauty brands once upon a time and I still hold them dear in my heart until they come back is Crush Groove I love Crush Groove cosmetics it was one of the first brands I found where I found a powder foundation that worked for me. She didn't have creams at the time, but she had a powder foundation and it was cinnamon red. It was so perfect. I loved it. Now, I prefer a cream foundation, but at the time it was at the beginning of my green beauty journey and I was just happy to find something that I liked. And um, so she is on Facebook. She has a website. I believe the website says under construction or we'll be back soon in her Facebook. She just did a Facebook post saying, hey guys, I know I've been gone for a long time. I'm coming back, but there's no date. So it's just like a to be announced later and I've been stalking the page, but nothing. And she's been uh, she's been missing in action for over a year now, but uh, she's a small business owner. So I understand when you're running things yourself. That's how it goes sometimes. So the color that I'm wearing was part of a new line that she rolled out and it was called Madame Belle, but it was still under her crush groove. And I believe the color is Shakti. So it was kind of like the first rollout. So it doesn't have a name or anything, but oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. Like this red is like my red. It has like a blue undertone. I love it. So we're going to swatch that first. Shakti. I can't remember whether this was vegan or not. I do know it's clean, green, and non-toxic, but I can't remember. It's red, so it's a chance that it may not be. It may have carmine, but it may not. I don't really remember the formula, uh, but that's it. That's Shakti. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Woo, love it. So 
when she comes back, you will know because I'll be like doing reviews all of a sudden. You'll be like, oh, who's this Crush Groove? So you'll know when she comes back. So I'll let you guys know. So that's Shakti and it's my favorite red. Like I love this red. I don't think you can get more beautiful than that, especially for my complexion. But I do have other reds I love. So I'm going to show you the other reds that I love. I've got, let me see. We'll go with 100% pure next. So Sonora is also a beautiful red. This is from the Cocoa Butter line. Um, that is the semi mattes, and it's not as glossy as this one, but I love it nonetheless. And this is more of a tomato red. Boom! There that is. It's a tomato red, and you can really see the difference between that blue undertoned red and that kind of orange tomatoey undertone red. So that's pretty. That's pretty too. Gorgeous. And um, these are semi matte, kind of matte for those who are looking for that. Not as moisturizing as your other lipsticks that are not matte, but it's a semi matte. What do you expect? Now, this one is moisturizing, and this is 100% pure from the um, pomegranate oil anti aging line, fruit pigmented. And I adore this. So the Sonora from 100% Pure is vegan. And so is this one. And this is Poppy. Oh, Poppy is pretty. Poppy is kind of a blue undertone. So I'm, I'm oh yeah, that's interesting to see what it looks like. Next. No wonder why I love Poppy. It almost looks like Shakti. Look at that. Almost looks identical to Shakti. That's probably why I was so excited when I found it. Because I was like, ah, oh, almost identical um maybe a little more i don't know a little more i don't know a little more bricky maybe i don't know anyway that's that's that and so that's poppy from 100 percent pure and those are the reds i have so if you want to see those again against each other pretty next let's go to Let's get on over to red apple lipsticks. I have three red apple lipsticks. So we'll do we'll do second date, which I love first. Second date is what the heck? I don't even know which order I'm going anymore. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going this way. All right. So oh, second date is really more of a berry. That's second date. It's a berry color. Pretty. Pretty. Love Red Apple Lipsticks. They're moisturizing. This is a fuchsia. This is back to the fuchsia from Red Apple Lips. And Red Apple Lipsticks are vegan. So this is back to the fuchsia. And this is so pretty. I like this in the fall. That's back to the fuchsia. That's really, really gorgeous. And those colors are so pretty. Back to the fuchsia. And then we have Gypsy Soul, which is like a cult classic for me. As you can see, I've like used the mess out of it. And this is a brown and this is like creamy and moisturizing and beautiful and that's it gypsy soul it's a warm kind of chocolate pudding brown and when I don't really know what I want I just reach for this one like I don't want a bold lip I don't want a nude lip I go for my gypsy soul so those are pretty all of those are vegan gorgeous we got a few more lipsticks guys hang in there um, we're going to do, yeah, we didn't do 100% pure as Marrakesh. Got to do that because this is a perfect summer color. Summer is here. It's upon us. And look at that baby. You want your lips to look like that in the summer, don't you? Mm-hmm. I do. I do. Marrakesh. This is another one of the semi matte, so it's not as moisturizing. As you can see, it's not sheeny and shiny like the others, uh, but it's gorgeous and it's vegan. So that's Marrakesh. Now, these two colors I got when I was in D.C. a couple weeks ago. I had no business shopping, but I did. I was like in a health food store with one of my friends, and we went to the green beauty section and started swatching, and I ended up with these two babies, and um, I didn't need them, but they're pretty. So we have Gabriel Cosmetics, and this is the first time I've purchased a Gabriel Cosmetics lipstick. I like Gabriel Cosmetics, who also owns Suzu Luxe, uh, but I had never purchased a lipstick. And they are more on the affordable range, like $15. So just in case you're wondering, this is Wild Orchid. It's pretty. It's kind of like a metallic, I don't know, peachy pinky. It's pretty. And we're going to put it on this side because we're running out of room, baby. We're running out of room. So that's it. 
real pretty really really pretty let's see if I could give you a little more it's just like a metallic -y kind of light bronzy peachy lip oh I feel like you don't see it as much as I'd like you to see it um, let's put it right here let's just whip it across okay boom there we go we whip it across pretty isn't that pretty it's kind of like a metallic -y nude it's gorgeous I did not need it but I also don't have any lipsticks that look like this or I didn't at the time now I have one that looks almost identical uh, which is unlimited from Elite Cosmetics which I'm not swatching today this is the last lipstick I purchased I don't know why I got this I probably will never wear this but um, it reminded me of my lips in high school I used to wear really dark kind of goth lipstick like really dark makeup I had black eyebrows <laughs> black crazy eyeliner and black lips like that was how I looked in my junior and senior year so this is hemp organics and this was also the first time I've tried hemp organics and um, I believe this is vegan the Gabriel cosmetics was and it's Java bean so you know what it's about to look like it's dark um, dark lipsticks don't really look good on me and I'll tell you why. That's it. Java bean almost looks black. Really, really, really dark brown. And there it is. Java bean. So if you like dark, dark lipsticks, that might be something you want to check into. And Hemp Organics is another brand that's very affordable. I, I believe $15 or so. So now the reason why I don't like these colors, even though I like them on other people, is they make my lips disappear. Right? So I have decent lips right those are decent lips but when I put these colors on they go I don't have any lips I just got like these two dark things like little dark slits and I don't like that so I like to look like I have lips so I kind of stay away from these colors I I don't know I think I just got nostalgic in there and bought it because it reminded me of high school java bean I wish I could give it to someone but I've been like swatching it all over my lips and hand obviously so those are the lipsticks fun okay we're gonna move into the lip glosses okay and we're gonna speed this up because I don't want to be here all day with you guys swatching although if you don't mind I don't know okay, so the lip glosses I'm going to swatch are gonna be black minerals you guys know I love those lip glosses these are the ones I was referring to that have carmine and so I'm not exactly sure which ones have carmine and which don't because it says may contain carmine so what I would imagine is the colors that are more red or pink have carmine because that's generally what they use it for and maybe not so much the nude color but I can't guarantee that so if carmine is not something you want to do then stay clear of these so these are vegetarian friendly but not vegan friendly so this is Casablanca you guys have heard me rave about this for so long and I love it and so Casablanca is nude that's a nude pink I adore it I love the formula I love the way it feels on the lips that's Casablanca gorgeous also there is Martinique Martinique is fuchsia and beautiful uh oh fuchsia and beautiful love these love these this one has a different brush I'm kind of running out so that's Martinique isn't that pretty fuchsia and beautiful it's gorgeous for the summer like all of these colors are gorgeous but for the summer in particular this is Seychelles and Seychelles is a red kind of blue undertoned color it's very pretty and I love wearing it and sometimes I'm just in the mood for gloss and not lipstick and when I am that's when I reach for these and then last we have Zanzibar Zanzibar is purple and it's gorgeous shout out to Zanzibar there's purple pretty next we're gonna swatch some eyeshadows and then we'll close with swatching some highlighters so the eyeshadows I have are gonna be from plain Jane Beauty you guys know I love and adore plain Jane Beauty favorite green beauty brand and then also I'm going to swatch some Han now Han I really like because they are super affordable highly pigmented and I really like them I got these in green beauty boxes back when I was getting getting my subscription boxes and I was like pleasantly surprised and so we're gonna swatch first eyeshadows from plain Jane Beauty I have four colors that we're gonna do here we have um, the golden celebration which is my favorite color it's the color I'm wearing on my eyelids now it's the color that I will be wearing pretty much every single day of my life no it's the color I wear all the time so it's kind of like my subdued more natural makeup I know it's gold and maybe not anything natural about metallic lids but for me it is right because I could be doing like purple or whatever so it's kind of like my nudish nudish eyelid and so it's golden celebration and I love it it's beautiful look at that oh <gasps> pretty oh my gosh let me give you another swatch just because it's so pretty oh look at that oh golden celebration baby love it see that on my lids gorgeous 
Okay, so next I'm going to swatch Mauve Cinnabar for you. And these four colors that I have, I like to kind of, if I'm going to get jazzy and fancy with my eyes, I like to use these four colors together. And so this is Mauve Cinnabar. And as you can probably guess, it's a mauve kind of cinnabar -y kind of color. And it's really pretty. I would say it's like a, a, a plum, like a nice mauve plum. And it's pretty. And that's it right there mauve cinnabar these have nice pigment but if you are looking for more pigment you can always wet them which is what i do uh when i want to pop it up like right now i did moisten i think i did dampen the uh brush a little bit and so that's mauve cinnabar that's really pretty and i like to use that like under here when i'm doing a look it's really really nice and sometimes in the crease kind of like a transition color it looks great so next we're going to do antique violet antique violet is just what it sounds like it's antique violet and it's pretty and um i like the purple colors so that's antique violet I really like the purple colors for eye looks. If I'm getting fancy, I go with purple. It really looks good on brown eyes. That's Antique Violet. And then Envy is the last color I'm going to show you from Plain Jane Beauty. And it's also kind of um, indigo-y. I guess it's more blue. It's purple, but blue like indigo. So it's indigo, and um, it looks good with these colors. That's it. That's it right there on the end. And those, to me, those four colors look so gorgeous in an eye look. Just so gorgeous. You kind of smoke out with this and this. And you kind of put that like underneath and in the crease. And you do the lid with that. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So those are the Plain Jane Beauty eyeshadows I have. I'm going to show you the Han eyeshadows. These are um, pretty as well. So Chocolate Bronze is the first one I have. And Chocolate Bronze is gorgeous. I believe I got the Toppy Plum first. And I was like, Toppy Plum? And then I put it on and was like, ooh. But um, then when I got the Chocolate Bronze, I was like, yes, I know I'm like that. And I did, of course. So Chocolate, oh, these are really silky. These are really, really silky. Much more silky and a lot more pigmented than the Plain Jane. I will tell you that. Uh, but let's see, where are we going to put Toppy Plum? We're no, sorry, chocolate bronze. We're going to put chocolate bronze. Oh, that's gorgeous. I have not given that enough play. That's chocolate bronze right there. So it's a gold color. And for some reason, I thought it was darker, but it's not as pretty. I'm going to have to rock that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's chocolate bronze from Han. Pretty. And then the toppy plum from Han is also gorgeous. And um, I wear both of these, uh, but I haven't in a while and kind of forgot what they look like. So this, oh, that's pretty. Sheesh. So that's toppy plum right there. Right there. And it's pretty. It's kind of got like a hint of plum, but kind of metallic. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So those are all of the eye colors right there. Plain Jam Beauty on top and Han. That's it, guys. Okay. That is Swatch Fest. We are done with Swatch Fest. I know I'm dramatic. I don't I don't know why, but I just am. It's just the way I'm designed. But um kind of dial it back for you guys sometime and then but sometime it just sneaks out like just now. But um, so that's Swatch Fest. I'm trying to get these colors off my hand because my hand is like, what's going on? So that's Swatch Fest. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. If any of those are colors that you try, drop them in the comments. If you like the idea of Swatch Fest, let me know. If you don't like the idea of Swatch Fest, let me know. Either way, it's all good. And um, until next time, Zuzu Natural, peace out. See you in my next video.